Hello, welcome to another video series on Cisco Firepower Threat Defense. I am Nanda Kumar. In this video, the part 2, we are going to look at when you deploy Firepower Threat Defense in Transparent Firewall. Traditionally, firewalls are deployed as routed hop, which act as a gateway for all the hosts it is directly connected to. But in Transparent Firewall, it act as a L2 firewall, act like a bump in the wire. So not seen as a router hop to any of the connected, ho uh, connected host. This L2 firewall capability is achieved using bridge group. Bridge group is nothing but a group of interface. Say for example, in this uh, diagram, the inside interface and outside interface is been grouped together to form as bridge group. The bridge group contains BVI interface, uh, which is bridge uh, virtual interface, which normally which which has the IP address of the same network uh, of both an inside and outside. In this scenario, the inside network and the outside network will be of the same network, which is 192.168.1.x, and the BVI BVI interface will carry one of the IP address in the same network, which is 192.168.1.10. You could have a multiple bridge group within a firewall. Um, so in this example, the firewall has two bridge group, one and 192.168.1.x network. The bridge group uh, two will have 162.1.10. So uh, all the interface that are participating within the bridge group can communicate within uh, among in themselves, but they won't be uh, they won't be able to. Uh, Communication between uh, BVI. The uh, BVA one cannot talk to BVA and BVA two cannot talk to BVA. BVA one, if at all they need to talk to each other, they have to rely on uh, any of the uh, route router device on the external uh, for which uh, it, it will be able to route uh, route between to BVA. So um, on a device, you can have maximum two fifty bridge group. And in each bridge, bridge group, you can have a maximum of 64, 64 um, interface per bridge group. Now let's look at how to configure transparent firewall both on CLI and using Firepower Management Center. Uh, as you could see that I have logged in through uh, console accessing the Firepower Threat Defense. Uh, now, in order to sh sh uh, see what mode it is, show uh, I can issue a command show firewall. It is going to show uh, what is the current mode. And right now, the uh, firewall is in routed mode. Uh, the mode can be defined either routed or transparent at, at the very beginning when you uh, got the fresh box and then when you log in through console. Um, it is going to ask you a set of questions about. Um, the IP address for the management interface, DNS, uh, admin password, all the stuff and along with that it is going to ask you whether you want the box to be either in routed mode or uh, transparent firewall. That's where uh, initially you, you are going to define the firewall mode and for for uh, for any reason you want to you know change the firewall mode in between uh, you can use this command configure firewall and then uh, you know, configure firewall and then you can either uh, say routed or transparent once you issue this command it is going to uh, tell you that uh, after mode change it is going to wipe off all the configuration available on the box except the management interface ip address uh, you can choose to say yes and then move on to uh, change the mode from router to transparent or transparent to routed Now the firewall is in transparent firewall, uh, transparent mode. I'm going to configure manager. Uh, once you configure the FMC IP address on the FTD, that is con using configure manager, add the FMC IP address and then the secret key. Uh, you can go go to the FMC and then add add this FTD to uh, FMC. 
So on this FMC, I'm going to uh, try to add the FTD which is in uh, transient firewall. So I've, uh, I'm going ahead and then adding the the newly uh, created fiber thread defense uh, FTD which is in transparent uh, mode uh, to the FMC. Now the device is successfully added to the fiber management center. Let's go uh, go into the device and check some of its setting and then configure interface. Let's go to the device page where you can see that the device in uh, transparent uh, mode. Uh, and now let's go to the interface and uh, configure bridge group and um, associate some of the in, uh, interface to the bridge group. So I'm going to create a, a bridge group here. So let's create a bridge group uh, uh, by clicking uh, add interface and then bridge group. I'm going to give an ID for this bridge group. Let's, let's call it as uh, 10 and then you can define a description here. And uh, you have to allocate member interface for this bridge group. Um, I'm going to allocate Ethernet 1 slash 1, 1 slash 2, and 1 slash 3. Okay, and now and then uh, you can define, you have to define an IP address for this interface. I'm going to assign 192.168.10.10 with subnet mask 24, which means that uh, the uh, yes member of the interface which is ethernet 1 slash 1 1 slash 2 1 1 slash 3 network should be part of the same ip range 192.168.10.0 slash 24 bit subnet mask similarly you can define ipv6 however i'm going to um, stick to ipv4 and then configure rest of the parameters and now once you click that you can see the bbi create uh, interface that is created at the very bottom of the uh, interface page you, uh, and then you can go ahead and check the way of con whatever that you had configured um, now uh, next is to configure uh, the member interface that is ethernet uh, 1 slash 1 uh, i'm going to leave the mode as none um, and uh, define a name for this inside uh, uh, ethernet 1 slash 1 i'm going to say outside interface enable it and then assign a security zone um, so I already have a zone on my uh, on my FMC so I'm going to use this uh, I'm going to set the outside zone for the outside interface um, as you could see that you cannot define IP address for member interface it, IP address can be only defined on uh, BBI interface so next as I'm going to define uh, uh, Depend the parameters for Ethernet 1 slash 2. Um, I'm going to say in, this is as inside, enable it, and then use that reuse the ex existing security zone, which is inside zone, and then rest everything default. On the third interface, um, I'm going to say inside 2, enable it. Uh, instead of reusing the same uh, inside zone, I'm going to create a new zone for this interface i'll call this as insight um, inside to even zone and then click ok so um so that now we had defined the interface we can go ahead and then deploy the pot uh, deploy the config um, uh, configuration to the device um, with this we have come to the end of this video see you soon in the next video which will be about routed mode thank you